Well, what we're getting ready to do is kind of a, a special treat for the church when uh, new members do join. Uh, and uh, today we have three. There was supposed to be one more, but he is not here, so we'll find out what happened to him. But uh, I'm going to ask uh, the three men who are joining the church today to come forward at this time. Y'all, y'all stand up here where you face the, the congregation. And I'm, I'm gonna, I put this mic here because we're actually going to allow them to say something this morning. And uh, I didn't bring my crook out to uh, slow them down or anything. So, <laughs> But they are going to just say a brief uh, thought about uh, becoming members of the church. And then I'm going to uh, uh, just go through the ceremony of, of welcoming them as part of our church. Have you guys have an order that you want to go in? Uh, no, sir. It's just going to go. You ready? Yeah. All right. Jesus is going to begin. I chose this church as my home church, and since I've been coming, I've been getting answered prayers and help from the congregation. And thank you for your prayers, and keep me in prayers for housing. And I love this church. I love your guys. And I'm going to keep coming. I'm going to try to serve whatever I could. And bless your guys. Thank you. I want to thank my brothers and sisters for being here today. Thank you for your love and your kindness. Thank you for welcoming me into this family. Thank you, God, for sending me here. Amen. I think Pastor Will was talking about me when he said, talk too much to talk. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But I'm going to make this short and brief. Uh, when I first walked into this church, there was so much love that was shown. And that's what I've been seeking in a church home, in a building where we worship God. And I walked in here, it was just like I wasn't a stranger. And I began to water my eyes and I said, this is where God wants me to be. Uh, I want to thank God for the congregation most of all, because you all are wonderful, very beautiful. And I just thank God for the pastor and his wife, of course. They are very supportive in all things. And this is what God wants. Uh, I don't want to say too much, man, but I, I can talk a long time. But I'm going to make this short and brief. But I, I thank God that I'm a member and trying to be a member here because there's some things that need to be done. And I'm willing and able to do it. That's, I think that's why he's given me the strength to do so. But uh, like I said, I love you all in the name of Jesus. And I thank every one of you all. And continue to come. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Okay, now this is our regular uh, uh, service of reception of members, and I'm going to actually read from it because it's, it's a lot of important words in here, and I want you to listen as I say this. And any of you members that are here, just uh, say these words again in your hearts and in your minds and, and just refresh uh, what you had said so many years ago as you joined our church. Uh, I went through a, a renewal of vow ceremony last night, and... Uh, I just started thinking about uh, how this is like that. Uh, you know, all three of these men are already uh, Christians. They're already serving us here in this church. They're helping all the time in the background. You may not know it, but they're constantly around here helping me out do things, and they're out on the streets talking to people. Uh, but today, as they answer and hear these questions, it's, it's more just uh, they're saying it again. Yes, they want to be uh, in Christ's family. They want to be here and serve with us. So the privileges of blessings and blessings that we have in association together in the church of Jesus Christ are very sacred and precious. There is in it such hallowed fellowship as otherwise cannot be known. There is such helpfulness with brotherly watch care and counsel as can be found only in the church. There is the godly care of pastors with the teachings of the word and the helpful inspiration of social worship. And there is cooperation in service, accomplishing that which cannot be done alone. The doctrines upon which the church rests as essential to Christian experiences are brief. We believe in God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We especially emphasize the deity of Jesus Christ and the personality of the Holy Spirit. We believe that human beings are born in sin. 
that they need the work of forgiveness through Christ and the new birth by the Holy Spirit. That subsequent to this, there is a deeper work of heart cleansing or entire sanctification through the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And that to each of these works of grace, the Holy Spirit gives witness. We believe that our Lord will return, the dead shall be raised, and that all shall come to final judgment with its rewards and punishments. Men, do you heartily agree with these statements? Do you acknowledge Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and do you realize that he saved you now? Yes, sir. Desiring to unite with the Church of the Nazarene, do you covenant to give yourself to the fellowship and work of God in connection with it as set forth in the covenant of Christian character and the covenant of Christian conduct of the Church of the Nazarene? Will you endeavor in every way to glorify God by a humble walk, godly conversation, and holy service, by devotedly giving of your means, by faithful attendance upon the means of grace, and abstaining from all evil, will you seek earnestly to perfect holiness of heart and life in the fear of the Lord? Yes, sir, I do. All right. So, fellows, yes, I welcome you into our church, the Sacred Fellowship, the responsibilities that come along with these privileges, and may the great head of the church bless you and keep you and enable you to be faithful in all good works, that your life and witness may be effective in leading others to Christ. I'd like the congregation to welcome each of you with a applause or a amen or whatever. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to ask you guys to serve communion with me, okay? Yes, sir. So y'all just stay up here. All right.